Hello, my name is Kath Armstrong and I'm a Christian wife and mother and a homemaker amongst other things. I first talked about this topic at the beginning of the pandemic and it's been weighing on my mind again lately so I thought I'd share it with you here this morning. There's a little bit of pride sneaking into this video because I'm so very proud to aspire to and sometimes I even accept in being a Proverbs 31 woman in 2022. Taking care of my family and taking care of our home is my job. Yes, I have another job I do, but I consider that a sideline. It's not my main job. It's not the reason I get up every morning and face the day. My main job is my family. I am first and foremost a wife and a mother. My husband and then my now adult children are my priorities. Recently it has been pointed out to me that this attitude is wrong and it's something to be mocked and ridiculed. Apparently I'm bowing down to my husband and making myself slave to him but that might happen in his dreams and anyone that knows us knows that is absolutely not the case. I've been told I'm not teaching my, my adult children to stand on their own two feet. My daughter is learning by my example how to be a slave to a man and her future children. I'm not teaching my sons to respect their future wives by doing their laundry and cooking their meals. Well, ha! Huh. I do everyone's laundry. That's my choice because I'm fussy about how it's done. And because I like to run a full load in the washing machine to save water and I don't cook their meals, I share what I prepare for myself with the rest of the family. You know, there's a big difference, although in reality it's just how you look at it. Being a wife and a mother is hard work. Being a wife and a mother in 2022 is harder work. But being a Christian wife and mother in 2022 is the hardest work of all. But I want you to know and remember that the Lord blesses wives and mothers. He's blessed us with a special job. It's the most important job in all of heaven. To raise up our husbands and our children and our grandchildren or great-grandchildren. To love God. To trust and obey his commands to make it easy for them to love the Lord. That's our job. Now, I have a husband and I have three adult children and I am not ashamed to say that there have been times in the past when I have wanted to turn in my wife or mother badge. I wanted to run away just for a couple of hours to get some peace and quiet to be able to stop running and constantly working on one thing while the next thing's planned and I've already started on task number three. For all our tools and luxuries that we have, not much has really changed in the life of a Proverbs 31 woman, even in 2022. Yes, we have dishwashers and we have automatic washing machines and vacuums and running water and um, freezers and microwave ovens. Most of us have at least some stores within walking distance and if we don't then we have cars to drive to them or the internet to be able to order what we need and have it delivered. We're not out there threshing the grain to take to the mill to grind into flour to bake the bread. We're not you know, having to scrub our laundry with um, river sand on the rocks. We don't need to cut buckets of water from the well to the copper to do the laundry or to heat water for the bath. But with the progress of the 21st century has come a different set of challenges for us. Temptations are all around us, in our faces really, from daylight till dark. Now there are those who would tear down what we love. They tear down our families, they tear down our homes, they would steal our children from us and from God. And they are sneaky and they are stubborn. So being a Proverbs 31 wife and mother in 2022 
isn't as physically trying as it was in the past, but it is more emotionally and mentally taxing. We need to be wife, we need to be mother, we need to cook, be the cleaner, an income earner, a taxi driver, a tutor, sometimes a teacher, sometimes a minister, a nurse. We need to be the secret keeper. We need to be a politician, judge and jury. And we need to do all these things all day, every day. Preferably with a smile on our face and a kind voice. My Bible study lately has been about the value God places on wives and mothers. And that's what I needed to be reminded. That the work I'm doing is valuable and not just to my family, but to God. And I know it's what many of you need too, faced with changes and challenges that are coming faster than we thought possible. I'm going to read you a little quote. Her work, if done faithfully in God, will be immortalised. The votaries of fashion will never see or understand the immortal beauty of that Christian mother's work and will sneer at her old-fashioned um, notions and her plain, unadorned dress. While the majesty of heaven will write the name of that mother, that faithful mother, in the book of immortal fame. So yes, the hugs and kisses and cuddles and thanks from our husbands and our children are nice and they are so very much needed and important. But God finds our efforts to care for our husbands and children and our homes worthy. He finds them important. He finds us worthy and important so when our days are long and hard and times are confusing and stressful knowing that God himself understands and appreciates our efforts oh, well that just makes it all worthwhile and easy to get up out of bed and tackle the next day it makes it easy and to be ready to do noble things in God's name have a blessed week everyone